Hi folks, I'm Modulus. I'm back for another build update. And today we're gonna be doing uh, part one of this uh, kit. It's the Antarctica observation ship Soya. And this is the second corpse version with a super detailed photo edge. So this kit is a 1350 scale and it's from Hasegawa Hobby Kits. So like I mentioned in my um, box kit review that this is the 2022 manufactured uh, kit. But the original tooling of this kit is from 2006. So I've uh, already washed up the sprues on the parts and I got it started but I didn't get too far on it because there was a lot of work on this uh, kit. So anyway, today is going to be just a short update on where I am and so let's just get into the, the build and I'll talk a little bit about what I've done so far. So I'm going to move this box out of the way. So I got the uh, instructions here. So this is this is uh, step one and I've already got this these parts done so the first step is actually the two pieces of the side hulls coming together and all these uh, structures in the in between the hull will come in so there is a piece here that goes at the bottom so I'm not sure what what is this purpose you know for the kit but there is one detail on the bottom of this piece so maybe that was the purpose why it is a separate piece so I haven't done all these side uh, stabilizers because this can be in plastic or in photo edge so I'm gonna do the photo edge version and so I've done this and I've moved on to the second step here and this step is actually quite uh, there's a lot of work here although it looks like um, just attaching the another side upper side hull and the decks so here they have the painting guides because these decks have to be painted before it goes in so i will talk about here and how far i've uh, gone through so in these steps here there's a lot of uh, drilling and also there's a lot of uh, cutting cutting off the parts so I believe this this piece is also used for the I think this is for the third core where the heli helicopter pad is on top rather than at the bottom so the sharing this piece and also if you Asegawa is actually good because they highlight the part where you have to cut off. So on this side, there is this rib thing here, which uh, in the beginning when I saw this, I did not know what they were referring to. But then when I look at this, it is actually the entire rib along this hull here. So that has to be cut off. But it's only on this side and when I notice the other side doesn't have this rib. So 
I'll just show you the the kit where I've uh, got. So this is all just dry fitted, and I had to use tape because otherwise it will come off. So it's actually a very small ship at one three fifty scale. This is you know how small it is. Um, just to compare, this is the glue, Tamiya glue bottle. So this is almost as small as, uh, even smaller than some 1700 scale ships. So this is a small ship. So it's gonna be a bit, you know, it's gonna be easy to handle, but I think this kit is quite difficult to assemble. So I've already cut off uh, these areas here and I have cleaned, cleaned it up. And then at the bottom here, so this is a two piece of side hull. So I think <clears throat> there was a step here, so I had to putty and and by the way, this I had to putty and clean it. So I think you can see the sending marks. And this is the bottom piece that I'm talking about. Probably because there is something here. So this piece has to be attached separately. So there was uh, quite some gaps here. And uh, these holes here actually had to be cut out. And this is actually for the stand. It is for this thing here. So it is for this piece to, to go into this hole. So I hope this is uh, clean enough. I don't feel anything here, but maybe this, maybe after I primer this, it's gonna sh start showing. So maybe I might need a <clears throat> a second round on this, second round of sanding. So, okay. So when I dry fitted this, it seemed like there is a lot of. Uh, gaps around here but of course I haven't glued it so so the fits the fit is quite good but uh, I think there will be gap gaps uh, along these areas here and this is a transparent piece that I'll have to mask the windows here and uh, let me just <clears throat> take off these tapes here so the upper hull is like that and it joins the lower hull like this so there will be these uh, visible gaps here which I think I will have to putty a little bit. But you can see all these details here. And these are really fine details and especially the, the lines. So I think if I send here, some of this detail will go off. And I don't think I can replicate this kind of, uh, this kind of detail. In fact, you can't really feel it. So if if I rescribe these lines here, it's gonna become too thick because these lines are really fine lines here. So you can see there will be those gaps there. I'm sure the putty work will become necessary. So. Even the front here will require putty.
and then I'm not sure about these lines here because I think if I press it hopefully it can be covered up with glue otherwise all these uh, over here needs to be put it hopefully that can be covered with glue and also at the back here there will be this uh, these lines here but this one covers up pretty good if I glue it shut maybe might not need to send it so yeah so this is actually i'll just uh take it apart you know so this piece is uh, in the middle here and this piece has a very fragile thing, these kind of things which you might want to be careful. So this is the one of the deck here. And in fact, you know, of course the paint guides are given for this piece, but I think it will be fully covered up. So I don't know if I should uh, paint the bottom deck. So this is for the side. So this is the side piece that I'm talking about that all these, uh, I think you can see some sanding marks there. So I've, uh, I've cut out the ribs along here. But there are these uh, details like the ladder and all these uh, lines here. So you have to be really careful when you're scraping off this rip all the way up until here, I think. And there are also these very fine details up here that you don't want to damage. And also on the inside, there was some uh, ejector pin marks. So I, I cleaned up this surface, but I don't think this will be seen. And also here, there was a uh, half ejector pin mark. So I cleaned up here. And also some of this, but the deck is gonna come up, come up until here. So you, you won't be seeing these things. <clears throat> So the other side, so this is the front, uh, the front deck that covers on top here. So again, this piece, if you, even if it's painted, I don't think it can be seen because this, this is going to come on this side and the side's going to be covered anyway except for these areas here. So if I take out this piece, it's gonna look like that. And these are the all the inner pieces. So, so this is how far I got. And of course these, <clears throat> These parts all had a, quite a sharp edge, so you do have to clean up on all the edges. And there are some uh, very small flashings. And same goes for all these. Everything has to be cleaned up. And there's a lot of drilling to do, like these four uh, holes here and same goes for this so basically you know you need to be careful not to miss out any of the drilling work so <clears throat> pay attention to the 
the instruction manual, there's a lot of uh, indications on what to do, drilling, cutting off, and all the paint, uh, paint guides are given. So, uh, next, you know, I will probably paint those decks, uh, put it together, then move on to the next step here. And I did <clears throat> uh, get this piece, uh, this, this is this piece here. And of course, like uh, all these pieces, the, you know, the paint, <clears throat> It's indicated, but all these, I don't think it will be seen, it will be inside. But I think for true modelers, they will paint every single thing, even though if it cannot be seen. So later on, all these uh, small things are going to come in. So my progress is uh, it's very slow. And... Uh, because last weekend I didn't get to do much. So this is the only few things I have uh, been cutting off, cleaning, preparing. And I think that's about it <coughs> for now on my progress. So I think next step will definitely be painting of all this and I will put this together first before I move any further. Otherwise, uh, I don't think I can put it put all together and then start painting. So I think that's all for this time. Uh, I know it was short, nothing much to show. But at least, uh, you know, I'll let you guys know what I'm working on at the moment. So until the next uh, update for part 2, I hope I have more progress and I will bring you more updates. So until then, uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up <clears throat> or subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next chapter. So until then, happy modeling and cheers for now. Goodbye.